Hey, what's up studs? Ryan here or Aminar Productions with a pretty interesting video today about 15 Lego Star Wars sets that I think we have to see within the next decade. So of course it is early 2020 as I'm recording this video. It'll be pretty cool to look back in 10 years and see if all of this did become true. If you guys do enjoy this video, please leave a like and if there's anything not on this list of 15 sets that you think Lego has to make, you can of course comment down below. But these are 15 sets that either just haven't been made yet or are long overdue for remake, which is perfectly fine. This list, however, is in no particular order. While I do kind of have that in my head, I decided I wasn't going to put that into this video. But the first set of 15 here that I have to talk about that I think LEGO has to make in the next decade, or technically kind of it's a remake, but it will be the first edition of its kind, is a UCS at, -AT. And we have had a UCS at, -AT before back in 2007, but it was the motorized set. And when I say UCS at, -AT and what most people will think of is something much larger than that. And I think within the decade of the 2020s, LEGO will finally do this. I think it's finally time. I think for years they may have struggled internally with the design of the thing, trying to get it to be stable, and obviously picking up and moving a model like that is important as well for people that display it and move it or whatever, and so that definitely has to all be figured out on the design end, but I can't imagine there aren't like 10 concept models for a UCS at, -AT sitting around in the LEGO Star Wars headquarters. Like, this has to have happened at some point over the last two decades that they've tried to build big at, -AT and they just haven't been able to figure it out. But that being said, I think a UCS at, at given that Lego has now kind of gone outside the box with uh, the UCS Millennium Falcon and UCS Star Destroyers, both cracking $700. I think Lego can definitely make a big $500 at, -AT and it would sell perfectly fine. I think there has definitely been shown that there is a demand for these larger, more expensive Star Wars UCS sets. And give it a couple years, I think in the first half of the 2020s, like by 2025, we'll see a UCS at, -AT. And this is just from my analyst perspective. Another UCS set that I think Lego should definitely make within the decade is a UCS A-Wing. Complete the fleet is then the saying I've kind of been throwing around there. We've had two X-Wings, a B-Wing, two Snow Speeders, two Y-Wings. You know, we've had the entire Rebel fleet except for the A-Wing. You can just make a UCS A-Wing, $100, $150. doesn't have to be a big $200 UCS set because I think it would fit better in a slightly smaller scale paired to the other Rebel fleet ship because I think it is smaller than the other Rebel fleet ship, so it would make sense. But UCS A-Wing definitely should be something we see within the decade. Perhaps the least likely and most controversial choice on this list here is the final first battle pack and the reason I think it's the least likely of the 15 things that I think Lego has to make, should make, would make if they were a smart company and they are is a final first battle pack and the reason for that is me. I made it too popular for its own good. That being said, if they were to make a Final First Battle Pack, I firmly believe it may be the best selling battle pack of all time. It is definitely the most fan requested battle pack of all time. And at $15, it's a set that anybody who wants one can definitely afford. And anyone who has the money and the will to buy a hundred of them will definitely also do that. But as much as I think Lego should make it within the decade, I don't think they will because it's too popular and they just don't seem to want to make things people ask for. Next up, number four, the Nebulon B frigate recently lost the vote to the republic gunship however i think this is a set lego has to make within the next decade i know there's a lot of salty nebulon b frigate fans out there but i think it's very clear that the nebulon b frigate is a ship that a lot of star wars fans seem to care about which is great and i i always like the ship there's lepin version that's kind of gone around for a while but i think it would make a great kind of 200 dollars ucs set much in the size of the lepin one maybe a little bit bigger than that with some minifigs thrown in obviously so the nebulon b frigate is definitely a set that i think lego is going to make within the decade it's definitely shown its popularity here although i will say before this vote there definitely wasn't as many people asking for it but that kind of makes sense i mean i think it's the same for the ucs republic gunship never in my wildest dreams did i think lego would actually make our ucs republic gunship and yet here we are at number five the ucs death star will see a return within the next decade i know we've had technically three of them back in 2005 2008 and 2016 respectively with three separate models all kind of uh, bringing in different concepts except for the last Last one there that kind of just remodeled itself after the 2008 one and brought in some new figures but I think if Lego does release a new Death Star within the decade it's going to have panels I think they're going to not do another playset version and they're going to go back to the paneled model the price from the playset version is uh, 500 I think they would be able to drop the price from five to four hundred dollars making it a cheaper alternative and obviously a lot more displayable than the playset version so a paneled up UCS Death Star is something a lot of people were really excited for when rumors of a Death Star were going around back in 2016, and then a lot of people were disappointed to see that it was just a, literally a playset re-release. I think LEGO did that to keep the set updated, which was great. However, I think it let down a lot of people who were hoping for a big UCS scale uh, 
displayable Death Star. And I think that will happen this decade. I think LEGO knows they should do that, so hopefully they will. Next up at number six, something that we've seen LEGO actually throw out, like as a design that they've kind of acknowledged that they have sitting around, is a Yavin 4 base playset. And I think this would be a great like $100 set. I feel like they shouldn't even go as big as a Master Builder series set on this, like $100, kind of like Battle on Endor from 2009 type of set, $100, $110, $120, somewhere in that price range. And LEGO has definitely put together a very interesting concept for this. I don't quite know if it's what they uh, would put out for something like this, but I think something based off Yavin 4 like this would be very intriguing and something that a lot of original trilogy fans would appreciate. Next up, uh, somewhat similar in design to Yavin 4, kind of a castle looking thing, right, is the Jedi Temple. However, I don't want this to be a playset like Yavin 4. I want this in architecture style. I want the 2020s to be the decade where Lego does some Lego Star Wars architecture style things, kind of like a micro scale, kind of like the Harry Potter Hogwarts castle type of set. That's kind of what I would like to see from a Jedi Temple. Although if they went like $50 architecture style, I also wouldn't feel bad about that either. I think that would be great. So some architecture stylistic design for the Jedi Temple would be amazing and it's what I want to see. And I think Lego should make a set based off the Jedi Temple within the next 10 years and they haven't really done it yet so i think that it will happen within the next 10 years perhaps in 2025 for the 10th anniversary of episode 3 because that's kind of where it's most predominantly featured at number eight we have the tie bomber and yes this was also part of that ucs vote where the nebulon before get lost or public gunship won however i don't want to see this one in ucs form I want to see this remade in playset form. It's been about 20 years since we've gotten the last TIE Bomber playset, and it's definitely outdated and showing its age. There have been a couple of really good mocks showing up on the internet lately that I think really show what I think people would actually be interested in buying. And a set like this works great for display, and it's also a really nice looking kind of playset. So a TIE Bomber kind of in this scale, you know, the $80, $90 TIE Fighters that we've been getting recently, I think that's kind of where this TIE Bomber should end up at some point within the next decade. Next up at number nine, something I'm kind of surprised they didn't do more recently actually is the battle on endor with the little shield generator dish i think kind of having both in one set would be very cool i think this would make for a very good master builder series set kind of like cloud city kind of like hoth kind of like uh the ewok village i think the endor bunker with ats team maybe you could even include an ewok village tree in this set you could definitely kind of combine everything with this but i think they need to revisit the endor bunker within the 2020s and definitely there is a lot of opportunities for some updated minifigures back in 2009 they just weren't that great so you could definitely have some much better rebel soldiers better leia minifigure better han minifigure you can just get a lot more into a set like this now i feel like if you're lego especially if you go bigger instead of a hundred dollars with the original one you double the price you up the ante and make it a bigger and better, more detailed, more fun set. Number 10 on this list of sets that I think LEGO has to make is the Razor Crest. I think this is one of the biggest no-brainers on this list, also one of the most likely on this list. Not that I don't think a lot of these are very likely, but if I had to put my life on one of these sets to be made within the next decade, it's the Razor Crest. The Razor Crest has quickly become a very iconic Star Wars ship thanks to the Mandalorian show being an absolute hit on Disney+, Plus, and I myself really like the Razor Crest. It's kind of reminiscent of an older uh, LEGO Star Wars Bounty Hunter set, but not quite the same. It's got some similarities you can see, but it's still very, very different, and obviously, uh, you would get like a Baby Yoda and a Mando figure. It could be a very great set, and I would love to see it in UCS style, playset style, micro fighter style, polybag style. Like, you can go four or five different ways with this set, and I think all of them will happen this decade. Like, if you're asking me, the Razor Crest may very well be the Millennium Falcon of the next decade, especially if the Mandalorian's popularity continues over the next few years so very very excited about the razor crest potential for the next 10 years next up a geonosis arena set this is a set that lego has actually shown some prototype builds for some of the animals there very interesting to get a look at that always love being able to see that stuff but there are also some really good mocks out there as well that really show what i think a good style for this set could be and that again is much like uh, what i would like to see the endor set done as is a master builder series style play set where it's just this very large playset, bunch of minifigures, bunch of little different scenery bits, obviously the animals uh, trying to execute Padme and Obi-Wan and uh, Anakin, so definitely could be an awesome, awesome playset. It's just a scene we haven't had a lot from. I mean, technically, right, the Republic gunship is seen in this scene, but like, I don't really count that as a set from the Geonosis Arena. I want a Geonosis Arena set. I think it'd be pretty neat. I think there are some really awesome mocks, again, that show uh, the viability of something like this, and judging from the reaction I've seen from people that talk about these mocks, they 
they would probably buy it. So, I mean, you can tell Lego definitely did think about doing this at one point, and I think it would be much more viable now. You can see the uh, original concepts were pretty rough, and they are just concepts, so maybe they could have looked better if they had flushed out the ideas completely, but definitely now, 20 years later, could work out very well. Next up, from Rogue One, a Zeta class shuttle. This is a set that Lego said that Disney wanted them to make for Rogue One, and that they ended up convincing Disney or Lucasfilm that Krennic Shuttle would be better, and I agree, I really like Krennic Shuttle, but I think this set within the next decade will be made. I think eventually we'll be getting more Rogue One sets, obviously. They always do sets from old movies, and Rogue One will be no different, given a little bit of time, and the Zeta Class Shuttle, I think, is one that LEGO should definitely visit and try to create in LEGO form. There are some issues with this, though. It would have to be quite large. I mean, I can't find any mock-ups of this in LEGO that are smaller than this really I mean this is really as small as it gets unless you go like micro scale or uh, mini scale whatever but definitely going to be a very interesting thing to see Lego try and make in some sort of affordable scale if they do make the set but I think that one's pretty likely over the next 10 years next up one that we've only seen back in 2005 is a Wookiee catamaran and I would love to see them just kind of include the Wookiee flyer as well but yeah Wookiee catamaran remake would be just amazing it's one of my favorite kind of one-off ships in Star Wars I just always really liked that original Lego model so I feel like like I would really like a remake of it come 2025 maybe if they were to do 20th anniversary of uh Star Wars episode 3 sets along with the Jedi Temple so definitely a Wookiee catamaran would be pretty dope next up a Venator now a UCS Venator would be nice I would like that but I think a play scale one is more likely but also a UCS one I'll put in the good word here right now but we've seen the Venator in 2009 it's got a very very high value so it's definitely got some demand out there and I also see a lot of people talking about wanting it around the internet so as Clone Wars fans continue to age, I know they're not all children anymore, as uh, some people who are angry that the Republic Gunship 1 may want you to think. I think that the Venager as a UCS set would become a more viable option, but definitely another playset wouldn't be bad either, because I don't think a set like this isn't particularly not displayable. I think that looks perfectly fine on display, but definitely could forego some of those play features and make a souped-up version at, like, $400. Wouldn't mind that. And the final set that I think we have to see within the next decade from LEGO is one that I feel like has been unfairly skipped over and I feel like should have been made in 2016 when they came out with the Obi-Wan Starfighter and Hyperdrive Ring. It's Jango Fett Slave 1. And there are some really good mocks of this that kind of color swap some of the more modern versions of the Slave 1. But I think if LEGO was to recreate this, it would be epic. This is one that we've only seen back in 2002. And since then, we've had like five different versions of the regular Boba Fett Slave 1, which I'm perfectly fine with. I like Boba Fett Slave 1, but I think it's about time. I think the next Slave 1 should be Jango Fett's, and I think that's going to happen maybe in 2022 uh, with the 20-year anniversary of Episode 2. I think stuff like that would have to wait a couple years, but definitely an exciting prospect for the next couple years, and I think a very important exclusive minifigure to possibly get in that set would be one of the Kaminoans. I think that definitely is a figure that we haven't seen before and is one that a lot of people would be interested in finally having in LEGO form. So let me know y'all's opinions down in the comments section below. These are 15 sets that I really think LEGO should consider making over the next decade and if I was in charge of Lego I would honestly be releasing these 15 sets over the next decade hopefully someone at Lego sees this and decides to make all of them that would be pretty dope but let me know what you guys think down in the comments section below subscribe to the channel if you're new here and like the video if y'all enjoyed thank you all for watching and I'll see you in the next one peace out